Hi guys, so in this lesson we're going to focus on deflation and how deflation can pose various problems uh, for the economy. Okay, nevertheless there can be instances of good deflation and we've recently experienced one within the UK uh, where oil prices were falling globally and that meant uh, prices at the petrol station fell. That was good news for households, households uh, costs fell and disposable incomes in effect rose as a, a direct consequence of that. Further to that it was also good news for many businesses whose cost base uh, reduced as well, uh, particularly those businesses such as the airline industry um, who would have much lower costs when oil prices fell. That wasn't anticipated to last long and of course the underlying cause there was really the volatility in the oil price. Um, and of course CPI uh, has remained positive uh, since then. Uh, so let's look now at a deflationary spiral and why this can really po pose problems for the economy. So deflation, of course, is about that, uh, that general fall in the price level over a sustained period of time. Uh, okay, so we see lower price goods and services. That's our obvious starting point. But what does this mean for businesses? Well, it's going to mean that businesses will have less cash inflows uh, because they're getting less for their goods and services. So their revenue will be uh, diminished. Uh, and further to that, the actual profitability, the margin earned on each product sold will actually fall as well. Further to that, we can see that that is going to mean that as businesses' uh, profits are falling, that uh, workers are less uh, economically productive, their marginal revenue productivity falls, if you like, if you've looked at the labour economic side of uh, the course. Okay, um, so that will mean there'll be uh, reduced demand for uh, staff. So to begin with, hours will be cut back, but then employment will fall as contracts aren't renewed and so on. And there may be some examples even of redundancy. Now there then could be examples of um, increased unemployment, of course, and this is going to be cyclical or demand deficient unemployment. Uh, certainly to begin with. Some of it of course will be frictional as people will look for other jobs. The question is can they find other jobs? So um, this is going to cause a uh, big fall in aggregate demand as is this and then we can see consumers and households are going to spend far far less on these goods and services here. Okay further to this there's likely to be unsold stock uh, because of the uh, contraction in aggregate demand that's taking place here. And then we arrive back at our starting point where we've got lower price goods and services. So, uh, yeah, we then begin this cycle again. So you can really see how damaging the consequences of this can be. Now, um, a good example to consider when it, when it comes to deflationary spiral um, is in Japan, where they have had uh, a sustained period of time without real increases in their uh, gross domestic product uh, and they've had falling prices. Uh, now to try to counteract this they've used uh, a three tool uh, stimulus uh, which involved monetary policy, uh, very very low and expansionary monetary policy including quantitative easing as well as expansionary fiscal policies, a lot of government spending, tax, aid, tax cuts uh, and further to that, they've undertaken various structural reforms to help improve the supply side of the economy. Uh, okay, so it's, it's much debated about the actual outcomes of uh, such policies, though, which began uh, really uh, in force in 2013. So it's uh, highly debatable as to what extent they've actually had a positive impact in the economy but certainly something needed to be done there. So you can see deflation as a concept does have uh, very, very bad uh, consequences in such a circumstance as this, okay? And don't forget within all of this, as consumers anticipate lower prices uh, here, they're likely to also put off future expenditures, okay, in anticipation of lower prices. Okay, so yeah, this, this is bad news generally. Okay, thank you.